Right guys, welcome back to the tutorial uh, on Master Plus, episode 3. Um, we're just going to be talking upon um, splitting the pack um, on Master Plus. Now the difficulty with this is, is that you don't have the blue line, so it's harder to understand what directional path the white's going to take. So it's a lot depending on how you hit the cue ball and the power you hit it at. Um, we've potted a red. Um, we're in a position where we could roll onto that single red and try and get 16 points if we can and then play a nice safety shot but that's boring isn't it um, what we need to try to do is, is open up this pack now for me the obvious contact point is at this angle which is almost parallel to the top cushion which is what I always try to do um, if you hit it plain ball it should hit either the centre of the red the center red of the three at the back there or the one to the right of it now the only issue that i worry about with this shot is, is the split and the reason why i worry about it is, is that if you're playing it plain ball and it comes off at a right angle from top cushion to pink it can just sit on them and then you're left with not a good opportunity or a good follow-on red so i always go sort of full power what we'll do is we'll try it a couple of ways guys we'll try it with bottom we'll try it with um with top um and we'll try it plain ball um, and you know we if we want to we can move the we manipulate it to put a little bit of top on or just a little bit of bottom um the idea is to control it as best you can um but it's very very difficult when you're playing it at this speed you can play some more sort of cannon shots into the pack where you want it controlled because you've got a red the opposite side or you just want to nestle against one but for shots like this we want the red split um, and we want a, a, a red as an option on the next shot um, obviously the risk you run here guys is that the chances are another ball will drop in the pocket at the same time we don't want that to happen but let's give this a shot on plain ball and see how we get on that isn't too bad at all um my first concern is is that the blue and the well the, not so much the pink um and if the pink spotted we do we would have it available in two pockets so that's not a disaster if anything that's a reasonable split um yes we have to probably do a little bit with the cue ball right now because we need to get on a color next that red's not an option because the black's blocked by that red against that corner pocket. Um, actually, in first glance, guys, it's not actually that. It's not actually that favourable to us. Um, and the reason being is is that that red's blocked. Now, if that red was you know, that's by the corner pocket was over the pocket, I would be quite happy to play a plant. Um, but to play a plant onto a ball which is touching the cushion almost is just wow that's suicide um with a red split like this that's just that's probably potentially frame over um so options we could play a very very tough red into that yellow pocket um which i would suggest is probably your better option um or we could just roll that red in but by doing that we have to play either a tough pink or a tough yellow all right so that break didn't really work out that well for us although they're nicely split on the table if if anything the, the pack of five below the pink spots probably too clustered and covering each other but to be honest if you can clear the rest of them up you've won the free um so let's try that a different way guys um we'll play this with with top make sure we pot it I think on the on the previous tutorial I'd actually miss but okay um, now if you played this at a low pace a possibility is that the white will miss the pack if you played it medium pace sort of 50% it might just glance off the right corner of them and just poke a couple out but what we want to do is we really want to widen the angle and we play it hard so to do that we want to play it with um, loads of power and hope that we hit it significantly enough for it to split. Now, 
I'm not the best at splitting the pack on Master Plus because I I get it wrong on on my anticipation on my understanding of where the white's going to go and what direction. But this is my thought process, guys. This is what I go through when I'm playing my games, um, and I think, oh yeah, you know that 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 that'll work. That goes nicely. That's going to work out really really good for us. So we're giving it a try. And it did actually work out. Now the good thing about that um, white reaction is, is that it come off the side cushion and then it come back into the reds again. So that cluster of five we had before isn't there. It isn't in play at all. So let's have a look at our options, guys. The pink goes, the blue goes, but you'd need to be on the left side above these four here. That red goes, but that black doesn't. A black doesn't go in that corner pocket. And the black doesn't go in that corner pocket. So we know that the black's out of commission. So playing a red where we have to send the white towards the black is pointless. Unless we really, really knew we could split them and then put the black after, which is highly, highly unlikely. Um, so for me, I think the only option really would be to take this one on. Um which would be okay, but the angle might flick us into the blue slightly, which would help because it would slow the white down for either a yellow or a green. Um, we could play the more tougher red, which is this one, uh, with a look to slide across the table, this side of the pink and the red that's closest together, with a look to pot the yellow or the brown, or even if we could hold it low enough, we could pot the blue into the left middle as we're looking. Um, so again, guys, loads of options loads of options um, we could just play this one with loads of top because the white would really deflect into the black um, and that's going to give you sort of a really good a good understanding of the, the angle you would need to, for the white to progress in that line um, so come on this table you know go on the practice table and practice shots like this and it gives you a really really good understanding of how the white ball reacts um, so yeah, that's that's the splitting of the pack with with loads of top. Um, so let's let's give that a let's give that another try. Now, I did say guys that we would do it with bottom. Now, I will I will play the shot with bottom. My only fear is is that I don't know whether it's because we're so close to the black and we're parallel. It might be that if we put too much bottom and too much power, it might miss the pack totally. But we're gonna try. Just to give you, just to show you an idea of how different it reacts. Nope, it was good. But the red's in. There you go. And that's the fear. So that's a foul. Um and to be honest, someone's gonna come in there and they're gonna make fifty or sixty. And if they get that split on those reds in the middle, sixty, seventy, something like that. Um and that's frame over. And even on Master Plus, guys, that will happen. You know, we don't don't be fooled in thinking that on Master Plus, oh yeah, someone's going to make like twenty or thirty, and then I'll get back in. Because I can assure you now, you will play guys, especially in our Discord, that will absolutely destroy you if you're given that opportunity. Um. So we know that that reacted badly on that, and we know that it. Um, we know that it causes problems with regards to the white staying high on the table so near the black spot um, potentially it's pushed this red into the into the corner so what we do is we put full bottom on again we will reduce the power to 90% it's because the white reacts and it drags itself out of the red skies you could probably put I wouldn't suggest putting less than 85 on it because if you're playing it at a shorter shot and a, and a closer distance it might be enough to just miss the reds so let's let's just try that on um let's just try that on eighty five and see how we can get a different react if we can get a different reaction. Yeah, there you go. See that white stuck to that red, which is automatically heading towards the left corner pocket. And guys, do you see what I mean about the white staying high on the table, as in, in and around the black spot? Because you're putting bottom on it, all it's doing is it's running off the bottom of the pack and there's no left or right on the cue ball for it to deflect the other way. If, if if you watch Rainy Lamb play, when he plays that shot um, with Screw, he very rarely just puts straight bottom on it. 
he'll put some right hand side on it if he's coming from this side of the table and equally he'll put left hand side coming from this side of the table because what happens is it reacts to the to the cushion in a different way and sends the white down the table I will try um, and show you what I mean so he will put full bottom on it and he'll just put a smidge of side on it um, which does change the path of your your shot guys so you need to make sure you reline the black up again um, and then when you put more power on it it does move it about as well see the line move the less power you play it it takes a different line because you're putting bottom and side on the ball so what we're trying to do we're trying and play the shot um, we want to hit the pack and we want the white to come off the pack onto the side cushion and it reacts in a different way so it goes away from um, it goes away from the black spot line we'll try it I might have the wrong side on the ball, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, see, the ball went up the table. Or sorry, I should say down the table. Um, for those of you who don't know, guys, this is the top end of the table. All right, I know it looks when you look at it, the yellow, green, and brown is not the top of the table. That's the bottom. Um, but it's actually a good split because it leaves this red on. Um, it leaves this red on, and it's just a case of just rolling through, and then you've got a black again again very very effective guys this this split very effective and you know i say rainy lamb does this j page is another one um and and guys who play on the pro plus on 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 the actual online tourneys um likes of x imperium um path of the course um there's a lot of big names on there that will absolutely destroy it in that respect because they understand how the how the, how the ball works um I just want to show you quickly on split. It's alright splitting the pack from the black, but that's not always the option that you have. Now, splitting from the blue, <clears throat> I hate splitting from the blue. I'm so unfortunate at splitting from the blue. It's ridiculous. One, because I, I very often miss the pack. And two, when I actually do connect, a red goes in or the white glances off the side and goes in the corner pocket. Um, so... We'll give it a try, and we'll try. I, I'm not 100% sure on the percentages, so that I might miss it a couple of go, times, guys. Um, so if we're playing it, let's just go full full hog. Um, if you're playing it plain ball, as in centre of the white, for me at this close range, I would have suggested that that would just go at, directly into the pink. In my mind, that's how I imagine it, and that's what I would play if this single red wasn't on our left. Um, so we'll give this a try, and we're then we'll just manoeuvre it a little bit as as we as we see fit. Um, so let's give this a. It actually hit the pink full in the face. Now, that's fine, and it split the reds lovely. The only issue is is that it's tied a lot of them up. It's it's sort of covered them. It's put the black a little bit out of commission, unless you can get stuck to the top cushion. The pink doesn't pass that red there into that corner pocket. So in some respects, if you're not here, the pink can't go. Um, so you're sort of leaving your options now to just going back up for the blue. Um, I don't believe, I don't believe just rolling for, it might work. You might, you, might, you might be able to just miss the pink and come off the side cushion and play the pink in the opposite middle pocket, but that is leaving your only option to the pink. Whereas if you're playing the red into this corner pocket and you're playing it with bottom, you're sort of bringing yourself up left side of the blue to either a long blue into the bottom right, top right corner, or you've got a green into the green pocket or a brown into the green pocket. So you're giving yourself a few more options there. Um, can we play this different at this angle? <sighs> I don't physically know is my honest answer, but we'll give it a try. We will put a tiny out to top on it just to try that so if the white does hit the pink full in the face it has enough topspin on it to then to roll to the left side of the table um we're playing it full pace again um and my only worry is here that is that it might miss the pack as we look at it it'll miss the left side but let's give it a try yeah see it's just that just putting that little bit of top on the ball has missed the reds completely and now you've just got to, you've got to play a good safety shot now without leaving that single red, um, which is obvious to just either roll off and glance off them and stick to the top cushion, which is the only real option to leave it safe. 
you could try and play up and down the table and try and snooker him on that red there, but chance so you'll leave it. Um, so we know that putting a little bit of top on it misses the reds completely. I would suggest that the only way to play the shot is playing ball. Um, but we will put a tiny ounce of bottom on it. And again, I think that this will miss the other side now. Yeah, there you go. So, we know that if you've got this similar angle and you've got that narrowness to the reds, that whereas the only the top the top two corner ones are missing, you know that playing it at full percentage is going to miss. Now that isn't to say that you can't put top on it and 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 hit the reds, but you'd have to put sort of sort of top left side on it to come off two cushions and come into the bottom of it, or you would have to just you would have to um, put it less power um, with a little bit of bottom. Might do it. I mean, we could try it now. Let's go 60. Let's drop it by 25% and go to pot the blue and just hit the reds. It's less pace here, so they shouldn't split as much if you do hit them. Again, missed. But you're on the single red. Alright guys, so you know that if you're playing the blue, and obviously it works both ways, if you're the other side of the table going into the reds, it, it'll work exactly the same way. Um, playing ball is the obvious choice. Um, full power. I think there was an ink to the bottom on that. That's actually worked out quite nicely. Um, but again, it's it's it's, it's more difficult because the white's got to travel a further distance between the brown, uh, the blue, and the the actual pack. Whereas if you're playing the black, you've got a massive white pack to it at the bottom, and then they go everywhere. Right, that's it for that episode, guys. Um, drop a, a like and a comment. You know, let me know how you play your split shots. If you want to send me a clip on Twitter, by all means, do it. My link will be in the description below. Um, go and check out the other tutorial on Pro Plus that I did a long time ago. If you're really unsure, if you're new to the game. Drop me any comments, ask me any questions, I'll out where I can. Um, and if you want to join the Discord, the link will be in the description to make a request. Um, and you can join and play in our leagues and knock out competitions and all that sort of good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys.